Guys, I filmed so much today and like I really don't feel well. I feel stuffy, but I'm very dry and I don't know, but I don't feel like complaining. I felt like coming on here to tell you something great, some great news because I mentioned this book in my spooky vlog and I love it. Oh my God. It, guys, I finished this book in three days. I can't remember the last time I finished a book that quickly, probably when I read The Hunger Games in college, but it was so good. Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. It's literally about Sally and Jack. Nightmare Before Christmas, after they get married. So clever. The storyline, I just had to know what happened. And I have not found a book that I've loved in such a long time. But this author is amazing. Just like the detail that she puts in and like the mood that she sets. On my Kindle, I purchased, I think it's called The Wicked Deep. And from my understanding thus far, it's like a spin on the Sanderson sisters. So Hocus Pocus, you know, the movie, it's like a spin on that. I'm on to like chapter four or five. It's really good and I'm really enjoying it. And I, I honestly don't think it's gonna take me a long time to get through this book either. Um, yeah, so I wanted to give you a little book club. I would love to join a book club. Should we do a book club on here? If you want to read with me, again, I'm reading The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Recently, I opened a can of tuna and I was waiting for my cat to come running over here. Like he always does like a lunatic, but it was like a pull top tuna. Okay, so I'm hoping in this segment, my animal actor will perform. I'm gonna make like a tuna macaroni salad. I don't know, I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. And then I'm probably gonna go for like an hour and a half walk just to clear the brain. Cause the brain, she's been a braining. <clears throat> uh, a little bit more than usual. So let me, uh, I'm gonna set you up where he normally comes running over. And he is all the way in the other room napping. Oh look, he's already running over here. <laughs> Um, sir, what are you doing? Get down. I will give you some if you get down. Here he is. Thanks for showing up this time. Thanks for giving us what we thought we were gonna get. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna give you some, but let me make some of my macaroni salad first. I gave him the can, so. If anyone asks if the cat got the tuna, he definitely got the tuna because honestly I love him and if I had to give him the whole can of tuna, I would starve for him. I wanted to show you my healthier spin on tuna salad. I feel like I talk a lot about eating healthy here and I don't really share all the things that I eat, but I literally just took a can of tuna. Well, aside from the bit that I gave my cat, Brogan, break it into pieces because I don't like very chunky tuna. I don't know, it's a texture thing, whatever. I like to break things up. Onion powder, salt, pepper, Greek yogurt, and Dijon mustard. I take about a teaspoon of non-fat yogurt. This is the bowl and basket brand. And then I mix it up with a fork just to see the consistency. I don't like a wet tuna salad. I like it, I like damp. I don't like dry, but I don't like wet. It's better for you than mayo and it gives a little bit more protein. And then I take Dijon mustard. Bowl and basket, you wanna sponsor me? I use a lot of your things because they're always on sale. And I put a decent amount. I like mustard, okay? I'm definitely my mother's daughter in terms of mustard. Love mustard. Looks like that. Onion powder. I would normally put onions in here, but I don't have onions, so this is a compromise. Oh, <gasps> whoops. I forgot that this was, <laughs> had a sifter there. Um, okay. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Mike's gonna kill me because he just cleaned the floor but I didn't get anything on the floor. Okay, there's a lot of onion powder in here. Salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, I forgot. Sorry, you can hear Brogan shoving his face in the can. Elbows, I love protein pasta. More protein, the better. I'm just gonna throw it in with the tuna, grated Romano cheese. And voila, there she is. Protein tuna pasta. Look at my screensaver on my phone. Oh. I'll put the creator's name on the screen. It's so cute. And I shared it on my Instagram stories. Marisol, Miro, I don't know, but I'll put it down below. It's so freaking cute. That cat makes me so happy in the pumpkin patch. Guys, I am so tired. And I'm laughing because I am really struggling. I don't know if this is the intro this to, I don't know if this is the intro to this video or not, um, but I will just say good morning and welcome to a brand new vlog if I have not said that in this video yet. I'm not really doing well. I don't wanna be dramatic. I don't wanna make it about me. I don't wanna be a victim. I don't like to talk about my own problems because I think about other people who have crazy problems, like everything that's going on in Israel. And I just, 
feel like my problems are silly. I'm really struggling with my mental health as I imagine a lot of people are right now. Everything that happened in Israel was just, I can't imagine. And I have been sick just thinking about it. And just all of the children in Palestine, Israel, Gaza, all the children that are suffering right now, it's heartbreaking to think about. It's a terrible time and I wish that war wasn't a thing and I wish that there could be peace on earth. My cat Brogan has been sick. I'm taking him to the vet at 1130 today. I'm working from home until then and we're taking him to the doctor. He hasn't been going to the bathroom. I took him to the doctor on Friday and basically, very long story short, I found out that he is severely constipated. Since then, they gave me a ton of medication. It has been nothing but a nightmare trying to give him medication. He has not really gone to the bathroom even after spending a bajillion dollars at the vet, a bajillion dollars on the medicine. So I have to take him back today, probably spend a bajillion dollars for them to hopefully fix him because I really just want him to feel better. And it's not about the money, but I often think the healthcare system for animals and for people here is terrible. If I didn't have a job that paid me decently, I don't know what I would do for my cat. I'm not well about my cat being constipated. And if you don't know, um, a few years ago, five years ago, actually at this time, um, he had fibrosarcoma, which is a form of cancer that had to be removed from him and I was a mess then. And I'm just a cat mom. I cannot imagine being a parent to a child. And I just wanna say, I filmed that video um, unboxing my Van Cleef bracelet. If you missed it, I'll link it up here and put it down below if you wanna look back at it. But I filmed that in August and I just have to say, I haven't really been well since then. I just feel like my mental health has really been on a decline. It's unfortunate because I film a lot, but it's just me who does the filming, who does the editing, who does everything for my channel. And I did say, in that video that I did film that portion in August, but by the time I film things and then by the time I get them up, it, a few weeks have passed. So I just wanted to be real. The first week of August, the first like two weeks of August were good. And then towards the end of the summer, I just figured I was getting the summer blues. I missed my dad. I didn't see my dad all summer. I thought maybe I was just sad that the summer was ending. You know, that kind of stuff. We all get those kind of like end of summer sadness. And then September hit and I just felt terrible again. I was really looking forward to October, to be honest. You know what they say? tell God your plans and he laughs at you. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't think that that's like the correct saying. And I've gotten to the point in my healing journey that I realize I've done a good job and I am proud of myself, but I can't really handle much more. So I lost my dad, obviously you guys know that. And I've been kind of dealing with that. But now that there have been things sprinkled on top of it, I'm really just like at my limit and I feel a little paralyzed and I feel like my anxiety is like very bad again. I'm having trouble breathing. Like the other day I went for a walk because that's what I've been doing. When just the day gets overwhelming, I just go for a long walk and try to clear my head and it does a good job. But like I went on a walk the other day and my heart rate was like 140 beats per minute. I have my Apple watch, that's how I know. And when I normally walk, it's like 90. And I don't know why, but I just felt the need to tell you these things because right now I'm sitting here with hair that needs to be washed. I haven't washed my hair in a week, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's disgusting. My eye keeps twitching, I think because I'm just, like so stressed out about all that's going on. I have cat spit all over me because I've been doing nothing but fighting with him four times a day, trying to give him medicine to which he just is spitting all over me. So it's a mix of medicine, a mix of saliva, and I'm just ready for him to feel better so that I can get one thing off of my plate. I just feel a little overwhelmed. And again, I feel bad saying that because of everything that's going on and I know that people have things way worse in life. I just wanna keep it real. I just wanna let you know that I'm struggling right now. And if you're struggling right now, you know, I have been trying to go for walks. I've been listening to this podcast. I'll put it down below. It's like the Anxiety Doctor podcast. I just listen to one podcast a day. I haven't been on social media. I really removed myself from social media just because I feel like I started comparing myself. I need to work through this. And a part of me thinks that I need to speak to someone. We all have bad days. I'm... I've had like a few bad months at this point and I just don't want you to feel alone. My parents' anniversary is coming up this week. That's on Wednesday. And I know that my mom is like shattered about it and I'm sad about it. And then my mom's birthday's coming up, which I know she's not looking forward to. And then it's gonna be the holidays and I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but I have anxiety and that's what anxiety looks like. I feel like we're just always like thinking about the future and dreading the future. And I just wanna enjoy 
October because October is my favorite month and I want to just enjoy Halloween and all of the cute decorations that I love but I have a lot of anxiety right now and I'm gonna stop talking about it because I feel like the more I talk about it the more I'm like feeling it in my chest and for those of you who are cat lovers I just want to show you my sir I feel like when people tell me their cats aren't feeling well I get very emotional we're okay we're really not the best we're not really eating we're not really drinking show them your battle wounds not battle wounds but he like I said, he went to the vet on Friday and he had some blood drawn, blood work taken. So he's a little bald here. And we're going back to the vet and you can't see, but I could feel that he has medicine dried up all over him from the constant battles that we've had to try and get him to take his medicine. So everyone, let's say a little prayer for the cat because look at his face. We don't want him to be in pain, right? My babes. Right? Love you. This is just like how I am. And I'm hoping that today I can get myself together. I wanna to film a video. I wanna put some makeup on my face. My husband told me I should go for a walk. I apologize. I feel like this video is going to really highlight my mental health and how I'm not really doing well right now. Update on Broken. If you are eating, pause this and come back when you're done or um, stop eating and continue watching. He was diagnosed with severe constipation over the weekend. I brought him home. I gave him a ton of medication that the vet told me to give him in hopes to help him pass everything. And then Monday morning happened. He still hadn't gone to the bathroom. I took him to the doctor and my poor child had to have two enemas. First enema didn't work. Second enema, the doctor said they got what she thinks is like all of the constipation out of him. Fun fact, um, I'm not gonna make it graphic, but you know, my cat, since having the enema, he's a little leaky from his behind. I've cried three times today for a variety of reasons that I'm probably gonna cry right now. If you have a cat and you have to give your cat medicine, it is terrible. It is a terrible time. You can't just like throw medicine. Well, most cats, I don't know about your cat. Every cat that I've owned has been picky, but my cat is a very picky eater. I can't just like throw medicine in his bowl and expect him to eat it. I have to put it in a syringe and force it down his throat. Every day I end up with medicine all over me. It was in my hair the other day. It's all over him. Then he just like gags and then he does this thing where it's in his mouth and then he walks a little bit and he starts foaming at the mouth and then he shakes his head and the medicine goes everywhere. He shit all over me this morning it's not his fault but because he's leaky when I give him his medicine I have to like hold him on the ground and put him between my legs and his tushy rubbed up against me and he leaked all over me I've done four loads of laundry since his enema expedition because he's basically shitting everywhere and I just can't handle the shits anymore I'm really at my wits end but god you know they say be careful what you wish for because I really wanted him to shit and now there's shit everywhere but I will take the shit everywhere as opposed to him being constipated and that poisoning him from the inside out I'm editing a video of uh, a get ready with me that I did and at that point in time I was explaining that I was really like at my wits end and that I couldn't handle much more it could always be worse because fast forward uh, a little bit over a week later and I had to deal with Brogan I'm dealing with like other things today is my parents anniversary so I'm just like sad I just I cried a lot today and I feel overwhelmed by work I just I feel overwhelmed by all facets of my life I'm ready for for a lighter season of my life, please. I just did this makeup look and I just like unloaded and I feel a little uncomfortable. I am really going through a healing journey right now and I just wanna talk about it and I just wanna share it with people and I wanna help other people get through it because I oftentimes say this, but life is like honestly what you make of it. I need to like be better at getting through things. Like I've done a good job with the not drinking and I'm definitely still like patting myself on the back for that. But I have so much work left to do. It's apparent in my recent vlogs. Like if you are someone that watches my vlogs, is it obvious that I've been having a hard time lately? I was doing pretty good until I wasn't and then I've kind of just gone a little dark. Like I've still been vlogging, but I'm not as interested in things right now. Um, but I am because I'm really enjoying the vlogging at the same time. It's very confusing. I feel like this is healing for me. I feel like this is necessary, but I feel like I could need to continue to do work and I feel like I need to see a therapist. I should not feel any type of way about that, but I must feel some type of way about that because I haven't sought one out yet. So am I lazy? Do I feel a type of way? Like, I don't think it's weird. Like, I think it's, I think everyone needs therapy. And I'm saying that being someone that's never even been to therapy. So like, I don't know. I don't feel like there should be a stigma around it, but why haven't I done that yet? Well, I look pretty, so I'm gonna like, 
get it together and vlog some content because I've been looking terrifying and look, I feel like a ballerina in this outfit. I'm wearing like leggings that I wear to work out. I think I got these on Amazon. Whew. I'll try to link them below, find them and link them below. But I look like a, a, pa a ballerina. What is that? A ballerina in this outfit. I don't know. This shirt is weird, but I rented it. And so we all know when I rent it, I wear it. Do you know how I wanted to channel my energy today? Do you see my picture that I hung up? Mm. I feel like ever since I hung up that, that pillow, did I just call that a pillow? My picture, my painting, um, it's been all downhill since there. So anywho, I just really wanted to channel my energy by decluttering. I feel like there's too many things around me. I have too many options and I'm not using any of the things which you guys know gives me anxiety. And my anxiety is like at a very high point right now. And just the clutter around me is driving me nuts. So I'm gonna clean out my vanity, the highlighters. It's just, I've never used this, but it's such a pretty color. Tell me why I can't let go of it. It's also not sold anymore, which doesn't help my cause but this is my mac and this is hot damn hot damoiselle i can never say this it's really pretty and i would use it on my eyes and i also use this highlighter on my eyes this champagne shade i love i honestly most days don't put that much makeup on the makeup that i wear every single day every day i leave a little bag of makeup at my job so that if i have to rush in the morning and i don't have time to do my makeup i can literally throw on a little bit when i get to work just to look a little bit more alive i've always done that because i'm not a morning person but i literally use merit i use the sticks that aren't foundation they're not concealer they're like supposed to be perfecting sticks but i use them like i would use a concealer i use that as like my foundation and concealer in one and then i use a merit one of these guys one of merit's blushes which these are so disgusting and old but i'm almost done and i'm determined to finish it i use beverly hills the blush that came in this original packaging since this they've up to the gold so it's a little chicer this is much nicer but nonetheless still an awesome product they didn't change the formula they just came out with other colors and changed the packaging and i use my essence make me brow which is my favorite brow gel three dollar brow gel i don't even put mascara on when i go to work but on days where i do have time this is literally what i use for concealer i'll use nyx or i will use a little bit of the dior skin correct these are the two concealers i will use and again i use these both as concealer and foundation because i don't use foundation if i'm filming i'll use foundation but on days where i'm just living we're just living the dream I'll just use concealer. The powder that I use, I don't even put it away. I don't even close it because I'm lazy, but I use the Givenchy Prison Libre Powder. The OG Contour Stick, which I brought it over here when I was filming, but I use this to chisel my face. I have a code down below, save some money, give me some money. Well, you're not giving me money, but it's an affiliate code, so I make a little bit of commission from OG when I sell it, but I love this. And you know that if I hated it, I would tell you. What else do I use? And then I have a lot of blushes at home that I like to use a lot of the time. Recently, I've been reaching for this tower 28 in rush hour you know what i hate about cream blushes though i hate how disgusting they get like because i dip my brushes into them like this one's not bad but like look at this one and then honey look at this one first of all the packaging decrepit she's disgusting disgusting i started using these at work when i'm just one two three quick i have the beverly hills one like i said but i used to dip my brush into it that's how i prefer to apply cream blush but when i'm in a rush i just started like drawing this on the skin the first day that i did that can you see like the gunk that's in there all that gunk got on my face and it was like bristles like hair bristles for my brush disgusting and then when i'm home i use my merit 1980 brow pomade this is the second best but essence is better because it's three bucks this is like 30 dollars i think for this brow gel my favorite brush the hourglass dual sided brush this is so old i've had this for years but nars laguna nars laguna bronzer i just like use this to set the face if you want to see this makeup look i will link it up here hopefully i've got myself together i edited it and i uploaded it because i've been taking too long to upload things lately it's giving me more anxiety and then i take the nars also had this for a really long time dolce vita blush and use the skinny side and i pat it at it i love how this makeup came out today this is like my top tier like when i'm sitting down to do a makeup look these are my favorite products but i did just tell you all the products that i use on an everyday basis and i love those products a lot so if you could categorize the two the ones that i just ran you through here that is like my everyday holy grail i'm in a rush and i just want to slap it on my face and go and then this makeup is like when I want to sit down, up the ante. Do you know what I'm saying? When I want to up the ante in my makeup and spend the time to do it, 
I won't rush and I will use all of these products in this video. So check it out. I do really hate getting rid of things, but I also hate hoarding things that I don't use. This smells terrible, but my Smash Mouth, my Smash Mouth, oh my God, Smash Box. This is like a lipstick palette. It smells like straight up Halloween makeup, which that's how you know that the makeup went bad. So I'm gonna throw this out. I'm also gonna get rid of this lipstick. These are great lipsticks. I just don't reach for this. It's old and it's a little decrepit looking. Naked Blush, it's a matte lipstick by Flower Beauty. They are like Tom Ford quality. I just am not reaching for them. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of my makeup forever. Step one, hydrating because I don't use primers. I use my sunscreen, I use Tatcha water cream. So this is just like sitting here wasting away. Maybe I'll see if someone wants this. This has just been sitting in my vanity for a lifetime. I think it is another kind of primer. See, I sit here and I'm like, is it bad though? I just don't use primers. And so shouldn't I get rid of them? Yeah, I think that I should. Out with the old and let's just keep the favorites. I used to use this a lot, but I really don't reach for it anymore. The No Porblum Priming Water. Again, I just, I don't use primer. I'm doing a lipstick declutter and the video, to be honest with you, is a little bit of a hot mess because I do it in real time and I've been wearing the lipsticks when I'm like running to work and I don't look as great as I look right now. Not to say I, I look great, but this looks great for me. Stay tuned, cause that's coming. I just, I've literally been grabbing a lipstick from my lipstick drawer every day and like making notes and writing down which ones I like and which ones I don't. And I need a new hair oil. Like I don't like this, the way hair oil. I don't think it's this color normally either. I think this has turned bad. Lip liners that I don't use anymore, NYX in pale pink. NYX makes a beautiful lip liner. It's just, this is this purpley, like light tone. It's kind of like lilac-y. You can't see it because I have Charlotte Silbury wand, her blush all over me. I just, but then I put it on. No, it's just like purpley and I don't wear purple lip liner. Like that's too light for me. I like a brown or like a shadow color. Same with this. This is NYX. Again, the formula is amazing. It's like literally a MAC knockoff. And this is in sand pink. I hate pink lipstick. I tried a pink lipstick in my lipstick video that I just told you about and I put it on and instantly, you know, like when you try something and it's like immediate no, it's like, and no, I, I put it on, I looked in the mirror and I said, no. There were some that shocked me. Like I looked at them and was like, wow, that is really like gray brown. And it was so flattering on my face. I was shocked. I'm trying to get back into lipsticks. I don't know what happened to me, but like things like this happened. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cushy chapstick like a this. This is what happened to me. A clear kind of like bomb. Bombs happened to me. Estee Lauder in Pure Color Envy. It's their color, color replenish lip balm. You know I can't talk. And then Gucci. I'm wearing it in the center of my lips today. Sally Soft Honey. A juicier kind of like lip. Like this is the vibe guys. But I don't want this to be the only vibe. I have so much lipstick and I've spent so much money on lipstick like a lot of lipstick and granted these are cushy but i don't love the merit shades on me i'm i'm gonna keep it real this is baby we're going through all of the things here and then this is a red which i i chose this because i needed a red lipstick so i think i'm gonna get rid of my other red lipsticks and this is in aperitif i want to get back into this realm of a standard bullet lipstick because i've always loved a lipstick and i feel a little lost i feel like i'm losing touch with myself i feel like i'm evolving and that's a good thing but i have too many lipsticks to evolve from lipsticks is basically what i'm saying to you I'm also going to get rid of this because while this was, I don't even think the word is acceptable. ColourPop BFF3. Like I loved this color, but we have since, we've upgraded since the, this. We don't, we don't, that's not acceptable. This is not acceptable anymore. We've hired our standards. I really love this kind of a lip. Like I think if I'm going to do a lipstick, like it needs to be a juicy lipstick with like a gloss and a bomb in the center. I just like am in a mood. Like I'm looking at these lipsticks and I kind of just want to throw them out. I don't even want to finish that video. Should we just do like a quick declutter right now of lipsticks? Maybe we just scratch the video that I was just talking about and I just tell you the lipsticks that I'm going to save and what I'm going to throw out right now. Let's just do that because honestly, I don't feel like I'm gonna be, I'm lazy. I don't feel like editing all the footage that I have for that video because it's so much. I don't feel good about any of the footage either. So let's just get rid of the lipsticks right now. Here, right here now in the vlog. Okay, I have my book bag here. This is the bag that I wear every day to work. Yeah, no, I wear a backpack every day to go to work. 
it's cute. And I own so many cute purses. You're like, wow, never would have guessed that. Yeah, me neither. I just find that like carrying a laptop because I have to carry a laptop to work. I have to carry my work laptop every day. It's very annoying. I didn't have to do that at my last job, but one shoulder, it, it hurts my shoulder. Let me get my mirror because we need to see what we're doing here. Is this better? I meant to say I'm grabbing my light. That also happens to be a mirror. I need a makeup remover wipe. This lipstick I'm getting rid of. It is so pink. I tried this yesterday and this was an immediate no. An immediate no. It's pretty. It's very pigmented. Pretty filter, soul velvet lipstick. Who is this by? Touch and soul. I'm gonna get rid of this because I will never wear this color. It is so pretty but it is so, again, it's just not me. And it gives that like powdery finish to the lips. It's not comfortable. And this is the vibe. I need like a cushy lipstick because I have very dry lips. This one I liked and I got a compliment. My coworker said this is a very beautiful fit. <gasps> yep, that's what you get. That's what you get. Why do every time I sit here and I talk about lipstick, I make a mess. It's very similar to the other color that I said I'm gonna get rid of, but this color, it's like more berry. This is like a hot pink. Like this is a raspberry and this has a berry tone and this is just more flattering. And what I loved about this lipstick before I just dropped it was that you could really shape your lips with the top, but I just um, destroyed that. So, so much for that. I'm like, I'm very like, <sighs> Like, I feel like I'm just in hyper mode all the time. And it's my anxiety. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with me. I feel terrible for my husband. I'm also gonna get rid of this, speaking of my husband. My husband bought me this. I'm not gonna wear this. I've worn this like a few times. It's just too dark. And I don't wear dark lipsticks. This is Milk Makeup. Again, I love their lipsticks. They're beautiful colors, very pigmented. These are very comfortable. This is in the shade New Whip. I'm gonna get rid of this. I wanna get rid of this. It's a beautiful drugstore red. I just never wear it. This is Joa in, maybe I should keep it for the holidays because it is really pretty. It's like an orangey red. I'll keep this. This is in the shade Adulting. I'm just not a big red lip wearer. Russian red. This is like a very dark red. It's a vibe though. I think I'll keep that too. I just don't wear it. Among the Fireflies, they discontinued this color, which I think is the sole reason I've been wearing it, but it's just very brown. It's a pretty brown. Mm, and it has like that MAC scent to it. I think I'm gonna keep this too. I don't know what it is about MAC lipsticks. I just really struggle. I struggle to get rid of them. And then I'm gonna show you faux, but I'm definitely keeping this. Another MAC lipstick. It's a pretty like mauve-y, it has like just the right amount of lilac -y lavender to it, you know? This is so old, but this was the only red that I wore for the longest time. Sugar Icon, Fresh Sugar Icon. And it's like the perfect like corally red. I think I'll keep that too. And it has that like hydrating slip to it. So maybe I'll be more, ooh, more into this one now. Let me just woosaw for a minute, like chillax lady. And I think I need to categorize this by colors. So I think we'll do reds in one section. Here is, I wore this last year. This is a really pretty color too. It's like a berry red. It's NARS in Dragon Girl and it's a little trial size one. I think I'll keep this. It's very pretty too, All right? Maybe I need to jump into red lipsticks a little bit more often. I did wear a red top yesterday and I got so many compliments from people. They were like, wow, red is really your color. So maybe I should. That's a nice nude too. It's a nice brownie nude. What is this? I don't know what this is, but it's from Ila Masqua. Oh, here we go. Ila Masqua and Bang. Maybe I should get rid of the ones now that I think I'm just never gonna wear. And then the ones that I decide I'm keeping from this swatching situation, I will wear those in real life and we'll do that kind of a video. How does that sound? I think that sounds better. Like I think I'll take this, I'll bring it to work with me. I'll show it to you guys how I wear it throughout the day and we'll do that. So I'll eliminate the ones that I already know. I'm, I mean, I don't wanna waste my time. Life is too short and I think that that's where I'm at and I'm gonna honor that because that's what I've been doing. Worry less, I tried this in this video that I told you I was gonna upload, but I'm not going to now. I'll upload a different kind of version of it. And I thought this was a no, but it is so pretty. This is Alme in the shade Worry Less. I hope that they still make it, but it reminds me of the, what's the Inglot lipstick that I loved. I think that it was shade 222 or 922. It's like a really pretty brownie, almost like kind of like purpley nude shade, very comfortable on the lips. I tried this, big fan. I'm definitely keeping this. Cosmic, do I, do I want it? Am I gonna wear this one? It's pretty, but it's matte. 
That's a pretty color though. All right, I'll keep this too. Let me just check my lip liners really quick. Stockholm, I do like this color. It's a little pinky. Can you see that right there? And then this I was gonna get rid of by Charlotte Tilbury, but then I swatched it and I thought the color was nice. I have to sharpen it though. Milani, lip pencil sharpener. It's my favorite. Well, it's eyeliner too. It's any kind of pencil sharpener. These just like don't sharpen the way that I want them to sharpen. Yep, mm -hmm. darker one. And then I will swatch again and drop it but this one i'm getting rid of this is just not my vibe i don't know why it's darker than the worry less one see it's darker but it's just it's not very flattering on me and i did really like this lipstick for a hot minute there but i'm gonna get rid of it this is nature's cartel 90s nostalgic it's just it kind of washes me out it's getting dark so early now it's 4 45 and it's getting dark and it's depressing i realize i forgot these two lipsticks which shockingly i love this one this is my Lovecraft Beauty in the shade Fosta. I went online and they don't have a lot of shades and this is the nudist shade. And to me, when I opened this, this is not very nude, but it is amazing color on me. Perfect nude. It reminds me of MAC Strip Down, like a little bit darker. Let me see, do I have MAC Strip Down in front of me? Probably not. Spice. Is it in here? Mm. Is it in my travel case? I was cleaning this out and then I got very distracted. Oh, and I have so much more makeup in here. The amount of makeup I have is like disgusting and it's not in anywhere. It's not in any of these things. I feel like those two would look good together. I wanted to try it for you, but I don't know where my lip liner is. What are these? Sandstorm London by NYX, great colors. I love me a NYX lip liner. But then this is where I get in trouble because I have too many lip liners here. And I have more than this. Bobbi Brown, look at this nub. You know I love it when it's that small. I think it's called Natural, number nine. I don't know, I think she changed it to Natural. I put it in here because it's so tiny. It takes up no room. What about this one? I don't think I wore this, but I don't think I will like this one either. It's too purple, I'm gonna get rid of this. My husband bought me this one too. This is Wifey, which was so cute that he bought it for me because he bought it when we got engaged. But I'm, I don't like purple tones like that. I like something that has a little bit of like a lilac tone to it, but not something so, so purple. I don't know, my, my taste has shifted. I'm coming into a new version of myself, I've realized. I made some space in here, that's exciting. Made some space in here, that's exciting. I don't wear a lot of these eyeliners. I don't think this is me anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this. But I love these artist color pencils. Like if this was more of a nude color, I own so many. They're just like face liners. You can use them as lip liner, eyeliner. I love up and down tan, I love hazelnut, but I just, I don't see myself, see myself wearing that. I got this recently, Easy on the Eyes. It's a bronze shade by sugar which is Tarte's brand I will keep this it's a really pretty coppery shade I think it's even called copper no it's called bronze I just said that it has a pretty bronze tone to it so I will keep this I'm just more of a brown kind of lady I don't like white in my waterline this isn't even white what is this it's like green can you see that Oh, this is nice. This is beauty for real in night fever. I'm gonna keep this. See, I just feel like I don't know what anything is because I have too much. I bought this and I don't like this. This is NYX, a silver. It's pretty, but like, am I gonna wear this? Like, what? can I put it here? Yeah, that's kind of pretty. All right, I'll keep it. And then this is what I am forever doing. I'm coming up with ways that I can use things because I, I feel guilty throwing them out. Marc Jacobs, these are crazy and these are old, but these were so fun. And that's a really pretty color. Maybe I'll keep this because I have brown eyes and purple looks good with brown eyes. Is this a bad angle for me, for you? Like I want the lighting to be good so you can see. Yeah, here we go. Where are we? We're right here. And then I have this green one too, but they don't even sell these anymore, which I think is another reason why I'm holding on to them. But like, when am I wearing green eyeliner? Newsflash, I'm not, but it's really pretty. Just as like an inner corner like accent, it's just not really my vibe. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. Teddy, I'm not getting rid of this. I honestly forgot that I even had this because I've really been loving my Honeybee Gardens in Belgian chocolate. That one's my favorite, but this is Teddy by MAC. It's like a shimmery brown. 
you know I love a brown. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm not into a liquid liner anymore, but I just, for some reason, I like to have this on hand. So I'm gonna keep this one. It is really nice. They dry out quickly though. Araceli in the Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner and Coffee. It's a dark brown. I'm gonna keep it, but you do one wing and then the tip dries out and you're kind of like standing there waiting for it to rehydrate itself so you can do your other wing. And then by the time you get to the other wing, you're like out of practice. I'm getting rid of this. This is yellow. I'm never in a million years gonna wear yellow eyeliner. I'm getting rid of this. Marc Jacobs, I don't like the black eyeliner. It's patchy. It gets like cakey. I'm gonna get rid of this. Does Marc Jacobs make makeup anymore? This is pretty. Araceli makes really nice eyeliners. This is like a rose gold. I'll keep this for sure. Pretty. And this is a rose gold too, but again, they stopped making this. Pretty too. That's so pretty. See, I need another one of these because with my eyeliners, I keep them in here and I just feel like it's not doing me justice because clearly I don't know anything that I own. That is freaking stunning. Am I gonna wear that color? No. But like the way that that just went on, I feel like I have to keep it. I can't throw it out because it deserves more than the garbage. Oh, I didn't love this. Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner. It got such good reviews. I'm trying to fix you again because it says that you're a little crooked. It's a liquid eyeliner. Maybe I'll wear liquid eyeliner again. I doubt it. I've just been like very out of it. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm keeping this. It was expensive. The color looks great on my eyes. This is so old. Stila, why did you do me dirty? I'm going to throw this out, but these were the best. Stila had these. They're smudge kajal eyeliners. They discontinued. I didn't like, a I don't love a twisty top eyeliner. I need a sharp liner, especially because I have small eyes. So if I go too much, it makes my eye look small, but they stayed in the waterline really nicely. I'm going to keep this dual end one by Tarte too. This is Tartiest. It has a not so black, which I kind of like. It's black, but it's like a dull looking black, which eh, that's a vibe. Different. And then a matte liquid liner. I'm going to get rid of this. I really liked this, but this is super old and it is a nice black though. Again, it's not like a super opaque black. This is LA Colors. I just feel like I have a lot of eyeliners and I don't wear a lot of eyeliner. And then Barbarella Brown, which you guys know I love. She, my friend, is not going anywhere. She's like a very dark midnight brown. I really wanted to do my nails for this video, but I'm in that awkward in between. Let me know, are you someone that paints your own nails? If you do, like there's always that day where you wanna paint your nails, but you think to yourself, I have to hand wash laundry. Or, you know, in my case, my cat is shitting everywhere. And so I have to keep getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing it. Life is not always so glamorous. Honestly, 90% of the time it's not. And I also need to wash my hair. Like I wash my hair on Monday, it's now Wednesday. I'm in that awkward in between. I wash my hair once a week, but I don't wanna paint my nails and then have to scrub my hair because then my nails chip. So, you know, black onyx, OPI, great color. I love it, but I need to repaint them. I think I wanna do my private jet by OPI, which is black, but it has sparkles in it. 